Today on the channel, I'm going to show you how to play Just What I Needed by The Cars. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to play Just What I Needed by The Cars. The Cars have always been one of my favorite bands. I remember growing up uh, in the 70s, uh, the 1970s, and my babysitter bringing over uh, Cars records and Foreigner and Boston and Cheap Trick and ZZ Top, all these bands, Queen, and The Cars always fascinated me because they had such good hooks great melodies, great songs, and uh, little did I know that years and years later I'd be playing guitar and, and studying some of this stuff and showing it to you all. So let me, let me uh, start by saying that Elliot Easton is, uh, as you, many of you already know, Elliot Easton is a great guitar player and he uh, constructed and composed some wonderful guitar solos. This is a really interesting song to learn because it's pretty difficult when you play the guitar solo because it's, it does some pentatonic major stuff, but it steps a little bit outside of the pentatonic major when he does the, the G sharp major chord. He's got to play to these changes. I'm going to show you how to play the keyboard parts. I'm going to show you how to play the rhythm and all that good stuff. The keyboard solo is not really the keyboard parts. So let's begin. Okay, before we get started, I get asked a lot of the times, how am I getting my tone on these videos? And uh, today I'm using this Tone X pedal. It's by IK Media, or IK Multimedia, I should say. It's Amplitube. This is a little box that runs, uh, it has 150 presets, like amp models in it. It comes with reverb, it comes with noise gate, it's got um, all kinds of stuff, EQ, there's so many cool settings, but this is the patch that I'm using for this particular song. I've got it running in stereo into my Pro Tools. I am running a little bit of delay in Pro Tools just to, to spice it up a little bit. But in the near future, I'm going to do a video on this Tone X pedal. It's really powerful in the software that comes uh, on the, the uh, Amplitude and IK Multimedia sites. Really interesting but I'm getting to uh, know this pedal a lot better. But yeah, that's how I'm getting my tone. I'm using this Tone X pedal, and this patch I'm using is uh, called uh, Snack. <laughs> so uh, let's snack away. Uh, I'm gonna be playing through with my Telecaster, playing in the middle pickup, and I've kind of got a, a gritty sound, uh, you know, running through my Tone X pedal. I'm rolled back a little bit. Elliot had a nice chimey uh, sound on this. He's probably playing a telly through a twin or you know maybe an Ampeg, uh, perhaps a, a Plexi, but it sounds kind of like a twin uh, overdriven to me. So uh, this guitar uh, part on the album has some layered uh, bar chords throughout the song, but I'm going to show you basically the primary chords and the way that I would play it and uh, if I was in the studio. So uh, the song is an E major. <laughs> And uh, it begins with this riff right here. It goes. So what he does, the way I remember this, is the hits on the first four passes on the E is on seven so it goes one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven like that okay so it does that four times so it does that four times and then the next four times he goes uh one two three four five six seven eight like that okay so what i'm doing is i'm palm muting with my palm over the the bridge pickup all right i've got a little bit of a gritty sound so i can get this little bit of break up when i when i you know hit these chords really hard and when i roll way up on the on the volume i've got a little bit more distortion so when i i kick into that guitar solo i've got the gain where i need it right so um palm muting in the song is very important because during the verses a lot of it's palm muting and then 
there's a lot of syncopated chords where he'll chop a chord and then palm mute it to give it that percussiveness. Okay, so that's some of the tricks in the song. So during the verse, he's doing E, B, C sharp to G sharp. He does that three times, and then on the fourth time through the verse, he goes E, B, G sharp, A. So to break that down for you, the verse is... Now what I'm doing is I'm just playing root, fifth, and root. I'm not really putting, I'm not really putting the major or the minor inflections on these chords just quite yet. I'm, I'm just kind of chugging on the root and the fifth. Okay, then the third time. So we're going to build. It gets louder. As you can see, I'm playing heavier, and the distortion gets a little bit heavier because I'm hitting the strings harder, and that builds the dynamics of the song. Okay, so the, the first three times. E, B, C sharp, G sharp, E, B, C sharp, G sharp. Then we do this little. Right after that comes the keyboard solo <laughs> and the keyboard solo goes like this I'm gonna I'm gonna show you this stuff in sequence as it goes during the song okay so it goes and then Elliot goes so we're in the E major pentatonic uh, box shape up here which starts on the tenth fret and you got to remember this shape because in the guitar solo it's almost all of it's played in this E major pentatonic that's also the C sharp C sharp minor pentatonic because E major and C sharp minor are relative major and minors are the same key just a different tonic note all right same notes so this uh, keyboard solo is on the B string, on the 12th fret, and we're going to go down to the 9th fret and back to the 12th. Then 9, 10. then 12 on the E. That's 12, 11, 9, then 12 on the B, then 13 on the B. And that's a C, and the reason we're doing that C is he's playing a G-sharp major chord. Okay, and during the guitar solo, the same thing happens. He's got to change a little bit out of that box shape to play that C. Because uh, normally in E major, you know, that'd be a G minor chord. But it's a G major. They wrote it with a G major. It's, it's like a pickety third. I think that's what they call it. It's been a long time since I was in music theory. <laughs> If I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. I'm sure I'll get blasted. <laughs> so um, anyway, that it's... Then once again... And then we go... You can hear the guitar come in as an overdub with that solo. So it goes C sharp, B, A on the B string like that but he's going to add this third this sixth note so I'm going kind of like brown eyed girl so I'm going to slide up to it from the 12th to the 14th it's kind of like soul man also okay so All 
cool. So then it goes back into the second verse, same thing as the first. First two times it's straight. Then we do the little blues. start to build where it goes all right so that's that's pretty much what that is that little thing that I do the third the fourth time through where it goes I went B to an E real quick You can hear an overdub guitar that Elliot does. Sounds like that's what he's doing. During that keyboard solo, it, it basically just plays over the same thing that the verse does, except he changes from a G sharp to an A the second time. So it's. It's uh, E, B, C sharp, G sharp, then E, B, C sharp, A during that keyboard solo. Forgot to tell you that. All right, so. Now during the chorus, the chorus goes. So what I'm doing there is E, B, a, C sharp, B. So it's A, C sharp to B. It sounds like Jesse's girl, <laughs> kind of. Then E, B, A, C sharp. It does that twice. So after that first full chorus, because um, it does the verse, it does the first verse, and then it does a keyboard solo, then it does a second verse, and then it goes into the first full chorus, and then after that first chorus, it does the guitar solo, okay? So after, we, after he goes, he builds up on this C-sharp minor, and then Elliot plays this cool guitar solo, which is up in the E major pentatonic, C-sharp minor pentatonic uh, mode. So I'm gonna be up here. going to step out of that box slightly on a couple instances. So the solo sounds like this. I'm going to play it slowly. So that's a handful. So what I'm going to do there is it's going to start off with. So what that is, is it's uh, the uh, G and the B string on the 11 and 9th fret. And we're going to bend octaves like this. We're going to go three times. And then on the fourth time we go. So that's the first part. And then we're going to be on the D string on the 11th fret. This is the hardest part of the solo. That D string on the 11th fret goes. We're going to bend it a whole step up. You got to really use your ears and listen to the pitch. So he goes. He's going to, he's going to bend it down and release to the ninth fret on the D. So it goes. He's gonna bend back up after he releases down to this uh, ninth fret on the D string. He's gonna go. Check that out. That's where we're gonna be playing that C because he's on the, he's on the, on this G sharp major chord, so. We do the 
the little so slowly I know I'm taking my time on this but this is this is really tricky and then we're gonna go so that next part goes so that's nine on the D string three times we're gonna hammer on the 11th and play the ninth on the G and then the eighth we're gonna go eight on the G 11 we're going to bend up on that B string. So once again, then uh, 8 on the G. We're going to bend that 11th fret up and release and resolve on the 9th fret on the G string. I'm going to rake into that. That's 12th fret on the B string. I'm going to bend up on that 12th fret on the B. Release and then play the 10th. And then back on the 12th and bend it up a full step. A little vibrato. So that phrase sounds like... And this part's tricky. So I'm bending up on the uh, 12th fret. I'm going to go. So it's going to bend up, then release, and bend back up. And then I'm going to bend up on the, the G string on the 11th, release, play that twice, and go down to the 9th. be back up on this D string on the 11th. This is kind of cool. It's going to bend up the 11th fret on the D string. Bend it up a whole step and, and release. And then go down to the, the 10th and then an octave up on this. 13th fret on the B. So that phrase goes Last part goes little typical blues lick. So we're on the G string on the 11th. We're going to bend up a whole step. And with our pinky, we're going to hit the, the B string on the 12th. And then hit the G string again. Release. Pull off on the 9th. And then we're going to go. So we're on the G and the B. And we're going to play the ninth fret. We're going to go slide into that. And then go up two frets to the 11th. And then we're going to go 13 and 12. And then 14, 14, 15. Then 16. So that lick goes. slide down. So from the beginning of that solo, it's tough to play it on speed because he's like you 
see what I mean? That's that's really freaking hard. <laughs> it takes a lot of practice. So, anyways, after that guitar solo, it goes back into um, it goes back into you know another another verse. So the verse and the chorus is pretty much the same after that. Now, um, at the very end, after the chorus, the, the song ends with a chorus, like a double chorus, I believe, and then there's a keyboard solo in the outro. So the, at the very uh, end, the chorus is... And that's where the keyboard solo comes in, and the keyboard solo is over the same thing as before. And that keyboard solo goes. starts on the E. So I'm going 9-9 nine, nine on the G to the D and then 9 to 7 on the on the B string and then 12-9 on the B and then on the high E string 9-11. So it's and then he goes same phrase and then the answer, which is 9, 6 on the G. Now at the very end of the song where he goes, yeah, B to C sharp because the song ends on a C sharp so the very ending of the song goes C sharp. All right, so there's just what I needed by the cars. I hope this lesson was helpful and that you found it interesting and got a lot out of it. If you did, please consider subscribing. Heck, even if you didn't, please consider subscribing. Comment below. And as always, have a great day. Peace out.